<laughs> That's right, guys. I just bought an old Porsche and my very first convertible ever. And you may be thinking by looking at this car, you say old, but guess what? This car, almost 20 years old. That's right, this is a 2006 Porsche Boxster S. S means sportier than the regular Boxster. And this is the 9A7, the second generation Porsche Boxster. A while ago, I did a video on what to look for when buying a Boxster, the original one, uh, the 9A6. You can go watch that on my channel. And eventually, I will do one for this one. It's very, very similar. And the engine issues with an M96 and the M97 engines are very common for both the 9A7 and the 9A6, but there's a couple minor differences and I will show you that later on, but for right now, I'm just enjoying it uh, for myself. But let me show you around this amazing Porsche Boxer. Great color combination, uh, midnight blue with the caramel, that tan interior looks fantastic, I think, with the red. Uh, calipers look at that and the 19 inch wheels now these wheels you can see them in the uh, 911s as well however the offsets are just slightly different so they are interchangeable but the offsets are a little bit different same look though however but look if when you look at this car it just doesn't look old to me I know that this car is gonna continue to age really really well As I mentioned around the back, this is the Boxster S, which means you have a bigger engine, better brakes, and a few other performance enhancements. This one has the Fab Speed uh, exhaust in the back. Let me show you that. You can see the exhaust there. However, very dirty. We'll need to get cleaned at some point. Taking a look at the interior, as you can see, Wow, I just, I love this color combination. As you can see here, when you're stepping in, you have your Boxster S emblem right there on the door sill with your buttons to open up the front and the back, and there's a big hair here. Switches for the trunks and the front. So if you press this one here, it'll open the frunk, which you can access as you would a normal hood in a car. Here you can see plenty of room. Here's my sun visor so that I can protect uh, the car from the sun. Although I keep it inside of a garage. You have your DVD changer stored in here. There's a little cubby in there to put stuff. And then this is for your brake fluid. The other switch opens up the trunk, which is much, much smaller. And then you have here your oil and um, I forget what this one is. This is washer fluid, I think. And you can see the level for that right here. Now, one peculiar thing is that you can check the oil level on this car, not through here. You have to do it inside. There's a way to do it digitally because as a lot of you may know, the engine is actually in there, in the middle of the car, all the way towards the bottom. I love the look of these cars, uh, very impressive. And you can see how chunky the doors are. They actually fill in that gap quite nicely. And it gives you that sensation of a very wide hip coming towards the back, which widens in the rear. Very nice uh, curves, very nice lines. And it's very reminiscent of the spider concept that came out in the 90s. And then certainly the original spider. 
You got your gas cap filler here. And as I mentioned, the upgraded brakes with the red calipers. I think the red with the midnight blue looks fantastic. Now take a look at that key. Very nice, right? Unfortunately, you have to put it on the left because this is a Porsche after all. As soon as you step inside, you see the Porsche badge there. Oh yeah. So as you can see, this car has 62,000 miles. I bought it with just a hair under 62. So I've been driving it around a little bit this one is equipped with the full leather package so leather everywhere everything is leather door panels everything is covered with leather here on the side as well and it came equipped with the uh, Porsche uh, shore shifter now why don't we go for a drive and I tell you a little bit more about this box dress so as you can expect it is very very hot out here in Florida but I'll leave the top down so that you guys can hear the engine a lot better Porsche Boxster S, everybody. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching.